What's up my friends, Matt Hall here, and in today's video I'm gonna share with you a crazy story. Uh, I participated in a webinar last night and I wanna tell you a little bit about it, a little bit about the results that we saw with a friend of ours on our team. Now, uh, first of all, little disclaimer, I hesitate sometimes to share these types of experiences and these types of success stories because they're, it's not common, okay? This is not, uh, uh, not something that I've ever seen before, okay? And it's interesting, in network marketing as a leader, we, there's, there's really two things that, uh, there's two, two different things that you wanna be kind of careful with. One is everybody's success rate is gonna look different. I, for example, took a lot longer than most people to reach a six-figure income in network marketing, right? Uh, and sometimes hearing success stories and the stories of people who grew fast, sometimes it irritated me, <laughs> right? Because I, I was struggling. And so if there's if any of you on here are struggling, you're feeling like, oh, uh, I'm not where I wanna be, this is taking forever. Um, I understand, I understand that, I, I get that, I, I feel you, okay? At the same time, we want as leaders to inspire and show what's possible, right? And so when there are incredible success stories of fast growth or um, you know, people hitting a, a certain level in your company in 30 days, one, beware of comparison. Choose not to compare and to buy into comparison. That will steal your joy and steal your energy and you're, you're bound to fail if you expect yourself to be the fastest or the best or the greatest, um, that's, a, that's a tall order. So be very careful of comparison. If you're gonna compare yourself to somebody, compare yourself to yourself. Uh, but I do, think it's, I do think it's powerful to share with you what's possible and to share stories of, of, of incredible things that are happening uh, in, in this business. So uh, how would you like to sign up 127 people in your business in less than 24 hours. <laughs> we started working um, and, and preparing with uh, a new guy on our team who is an influencer, okay? So he, uh, this is another one of those stories of somebody who had what appears to be an overnight success, but truly it's years in the making, right? Uh, he's an influencer and he's been teaching people about uh, how to have success in network marketing, for quite some time now in the online space, and he uh, has also been he's also been he's also built successfully in network marketing for a while, and uh, he decided to to come onto our team and to work with us, and we did a webinar and we had a, a lot of preparation that went into this webinar in terms of how to structure the content and how to make sure that people could invite their friends and and uh, everybody would end up getting credit for the people that they invited to the webinar. And it was a, a really, really cool experience last night. And uh, 127 enrollments so far have rolled in from this webinar and it's been less than 24 hours. Uh, in actually in, uh, let's see, in seven hours, <laughs> it will have been 24 hours. So um, that's pretty incredible, pretty powerful. The fact that you can online, you can use the internet to build up rapport, to build up credibility and create that kind of a result in that kind of a time is, is pretty, pretty fantastic. Now, let me give you a tip for those of you who may be, first of all, there's a lot of you who are out there building credibility and you're gonna see more and more content from me on how to build online and how to, how to build a following and become influential and, and all of these things. But uh, if you don't have influence yet, that doesn't mean you have to wait, okay? So me, this guy who joined our team, for example, has far more influence than I do personally online. And, and I have quite a bit, right? I've got quite a few people who follow me, who listen to the podcast, who follow my different YouTube channels, uh, the different things that we've done online, and uh, I'm grateful for that. But it wasn't my success that created this success on my team, right? It was somebody else's influence. And so more and more, more and more, we're uh, seeing influencer marketing becoming a thing, right? And I'm currently doing a lot of different tests on working with people who are influencers either in, uh, in a space that's related to our products or in the world of network marketing. 
This is one where he happened to have experience in network marketing and influence in, uh, in this profession. Um, and that's pretty cool. But if you don't, if you don't have that kind of influence yet, how can you, and just a question here to pique your curiosity. Uh, today I want to ask more questions than give answers, but how can you become valuable to an influencer? Okay. Uh, if there's somebody that you've been following on Instagram, for example, for a while who has, let's say 25,000 followers and you're thinking, wow, if she would just post, you know, a few times about, about my business, it would explode. I know we'd get a ton of sales. We'd get a ton of people experimenting with the product and then they'd want to, then they'd want to participate as distributors because they have amazing results. Uh, and that, that very mel that very well may be right. Uh, so what could you do to get the attention of influencers? Okay. Is it, is it giving some free product? Is it, is it paying for a, uh, a post in the beginning? Is it, uh, what, what could you do Maybe it's, maybe it's providing value in a different area uh, with a skill that you have, right? So I just want to pose that question and share with you that um, your circumstances never determine your results in network marketing. It's never the amount of friends that you have or the quality of friends that you have or how much money you have or how much money your friends have or any of these types of things that determines your results. It comes down to your actions and within that your creativity. So how can you get creative and start working with more influential people? People that when they decide to hold a webinar and they announce it, they get you know, thousands of people who sign up. Um, on this webinar, to give you some of the numbers, we had at the beginning of the webinar, we had 5,000 people on the webinar. By the end, there were still 1,000 people uh, through the very end, and it was a four-hour presentation. Uh, and so far, 127 uh, signups have rolled in from the webinar. It's going obviously there's going to be many, many more. Um, so that's pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. I just wanted to share that experience with you guys and, uh, one, encourage you with that story, inspire you to start creating influence online by creating content. Start that now today and be consistent over the long term. And two, if you don't have a, a following yet or influence yet, find people who do find ways to become valuable, to serve them, to get them involved in, in the mission and the passion of what it is that you're providing for people and bring people onto your team who are better than you. One of my goals has always been to sign up people in my business that are better than me, that grow faster than me, that have more influence than me, that are cooler than me, more interesting than me. <laughs> and I've been able to do that several times. Um, so think about the people that you're nervous to introduce your business to. Think about the people that you're scared to talk to or you're scared to reach out to online and start to build a connection, start to invite those people into your world and uh, eventually you'll, you'll see amazing things happen, okay? So I hope this video serves as inspiration for you. Uh, who knows in the future, maybe you'll do a webinar and over 100 people will join in, uh, in less than 24 hours or maybe you'll sign up somebody and that will happen. Okay, and that's pretty cool too. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the video today. Have a great one, talk later, bye.